Welcome to another episode of Keep On Painting. This is going to be a good one. Let's get started. Uh, this is a nice little sunset painting. That's pretty cool. It, uh, I think it's already sold. These retail for about a thousand bucks. I get half of that. The gallery gets half. You know, I hear a lot of beginning artists say that they can't believe that the galleries get half. And uh, I say I can't believe they only get half because it's a lot of work. There's a lot of expense involved. Um, they've got a lot of overhead, which, you know, as an artist, you don't really have much overhead, you know. A little bit of paint. It's mostly time. You know, this canvas, some paint, that's it. The galleries, you know, they have to deal with shipping. They have to deal with uh, a little bit of, you know, all the headaches. They also have rent, and usually galleries are in nice places. So, like... You know, one of my galleries, their rent is 30000 a month for the building that they're in. So they got to sell 60000 a month just to pay the rent. So, uh, you know, it's a, that's a big risk. So this painting's looking great. I'm happy with it. It's a nice dramatic sunset. People love sunset paintings. You know, people like landscapes. They're easy to live with. Um, one thing I've learned, you know, starting about five years ago, I started buying paintings. I started, I guess, building my own art collection. And part of that was because I just wanted to know what it was like to buy a painting. You know, what's the thought process? And, and then, you know, when you get at home, what's that feeling, you know? And... That way it it tells me, you know, it helps me paint the paintings for people, you know. So, you know, one of the first things I noticed is that, you know, I like having paintings that you want to live with, you know. Like, you know, <clears throat> you want something that's pleasant. You want something that, you know, every day, if it's, you know, right there in front of your face... You don't want, you know, a painting of hell or a painting of, you know, some disaster or some political message that's, you know, you know, especially some political message. There's a shelf life to it, you know. It's not going to be that same message forever, you know. So, you know, I kind of like to deal with stuff that's somewhat timeless, you know. Landscapes. You know, I'm also... I'm also interested more in the beauty of painting, you know. I'm not really interested in a big heavy message. You know, I think if you can paint an image that's beautiful, that's a great message, you know. There's a, a quote from uh, George O'Keefe, and she said that, you know, my job is to make beautiful two-dimensional images. And I feel a little bit of that myself, you know, that like, if you can do that successfully, that puts more in the world than anything else, you know. The world needs beauty. And, you know, there's some artists that are great with the political messages, or they're great with, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess, yeah, anything kind of political. It's just not my thing. And not at this point. You know, maybe, I guess I have done some political paintings, though, so I shouldn't really say that. You know, for the most part, I like doing these beautiful images. They're fun. They're as much a challenge as anything else you can do, really. This one's going great. You can see I'm kind of down to the more detail. The photo you can see to the right, the sky's pretty similar. The foreground, I added the water because everybody likes a stream. And, uh, you know, I just kind of, you know, and I like painting water too. I like doing the reflecting. And, uh, yeah, it's a super cute little painting. And, you know, the, it, it sold quick, which is nice. And, uh, and, yeah, it makes the galleries happy, makes me happy. And they're they're cool. In gallery world, it's tough, you know. 
I I feel sorry for galleries because uh, you know it's hard, and when times are good and paintings are selling, galleries can make a lot of money. But there's a lot of years, you know, like in 2008 when the economy crashed. I mean, galleries were hurting because you know they still got to pay that rent every month, and they got to pay their employees, and oof, that's tough when things aren't selling, you know. Whereas when, with you're an artist, you know, if you're an artist, you know, the economy tanks, well, you just kind of chill out for a couple years, <laughs> lay low, take up some other hobbies, get a part-time job, whatever. Uh, fortunately, I didn't have to. I, I kept selling okay through all that chill. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. So there's the painting. It's all done. You can see a detail of it here. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a beautiful little painting. It's a, it's a nice little painting. So thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you next week.